what is going on guys thank you so much for clicking on the video um, and please leave a like if you do enjoy <laughs> this faster content that I'm uploading hopefully you guys are enjoying it and it's not it's not too out of the ordinary but um I'm gonna go ahead and say now that the two gameplays you're gonna be seeing is the first from Assassin's Creed Unity and the next is from Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor I do know it's the first one I did not pick up Shadow of War and I can get to that in just a little bit First off, I want to go ahead and say I'm sorry for not uploading any videos, and I get it's only been a few days, but I'm trying to upload more regularly now, and uh, I just want to go ahead and apologize for not uploading yet until up to this point. It's just uh, some shitty things have been going on in my personal life, and I'm just now kind of getting them straightened out. Um, so please give me some time if um, sometimes my uploads lack a little bit. It's just there's a lot of unfortunate things going on in my life right now that are really dragging me down a little bit but I will not get into all that bullshit so either way we're gonna get into the main purpose of this video and that is the problem with video games nowadays and microtransactions and I get there are a lot of channels that are going over microtransactions and a lot of channels that do this and talk about it way more than I do but I know there's people on my channel that enjoy watching watching my gameplay and my commentaries and thank you so much to the ones that do I really do appreciate your likes and your support on each of my videos it really does uh, help me out a lot um, so lately uh, it's mainly about single player games because I'm starting to take my single player games more seriously again and with the launch of Assassin's Creed Origins coming out in about nine days now almost I think almost eight days um, that is one of my most anticipated games of 2017 and when I say it is one of my most anticipated it is my most anticipated game outside of World War two and that that's about it honestly uh, this has been a pretty great year for video games I'm not gonna lie way better than 2016 but at the same time there's still lack of content but I'd love to see Assassin's Creed Origins get put on the game of the year list if it's as good as it is being promised but once again, if you watch my old video, you will know how much I support Ubisoft and how I want them to be the best that they can be. Um, so let me go ahead, and this is not going to be all about them, but the problem with microtransactions is a big thing nowadays, especially with the single-player games. And one of them is with Shadow of War, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Um, I don't know if it was WB Games that started this or whatever the, the case is, but... People have really got to get together with this whole microtransactions that really... Went. Now, I understand when you're doing it on free-to-play games and you're doing some skin packs on priced games, but it's the level of how you do it. Now, I get uh, it's basically no way of getting out of a multiplayer game that's gonna ha not going to have some type of supply drop gambling system. There's no way of getting out of it. Rainbow Six Siege has alpha packs now. Call of Duty has started doing supply drops since... Advanced Warfare, um, and it, it's pretty much likely every game's gonna have something like that. Um, some do cosmetics only, some some don't, and um, it's sad to say that that is probably the filth that we have to deal with. And I'm not gonna lie, do I save up in-game currency and buy these things if I get the chance? Yes, I don't spend real money. Um, I've learned from old ways that is a terrible investment, and you will definitely be just losing money in the end. Think about it. Now you might think, well, this is the this game I play all the time, so me dipping my own cash into it is is fine, and that's that's fine. If that's what you want to do with your money, that is that's fine. But at the same time, think of it realistically. As much as we grind games, I grind a lot of games. In Unity, I probably have well over 600 plus hours. I'm not even gonna lie. I love Assassin's Creed Unity. I really do. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of hours into a lot of my favorite games. And yeah, I've probably spent a penny or two there in some of these games. Um, but it's the practice of eventually we do take breaks from these games. And eventually we just stop playing them if it comes to that. Eventually, like honestly, I hate to say it, but one day I'm not going to be playing Assassin's Creed Unity anymore. I've been playing Assassin's Creed Unity since its launch back in 2014. So I guess I could say I'm probably well over 600 plus hours. That was just an estimated guess. And um, But like for say, I understand multiplayer games are doing it, but really it started from free-to-play games. And free-to-play games, if they are good games, they deserve it. They can have their microtransactions because if they make a really good free-to-play game that's worth the time, why not 
support them a little bit. Uh, but with with these full price games, it's it's a little ridiculous. And luckily, a lot of these games do have in-game ways of doing it. And if you feel like grinding out it and having the chance of doing it, that's that's fine. You are gambling your time and all that stuff, and I understand. I I I grind video games out all the time. Now, Shadow of War. I heard in the last section or so, it's a grind fest if you do not spend money. And that that's something that kind of pisses me off. Um, the fact that the only way to honestly truly enjoy the game if you don't have time to grind it is to spend cash. And I don't know what kind of practice that companies think that this is okay, especially for single player games. You know how much shit people would lose if they did that in a game called, like like The Last of Us? You know how much shit people would lose it. Like, that. that's just, that's not a good practice. It doesn't help. Um, yeah, it helps their greedy asses get more money, and I get money's great and all, but that's bullshit, man. For people that are spending 60 plus dollars on games like this, like, I love Assassin's Creed Origins, and I know it's going to have some type of supply drop system from what we've seen. Uh, Ubisoft is going to incorporate it. Hopefully, they won't destroy it. But that's what I've heard. It's just a. It's from some type of crate that's in one of the villages or something like that. I don't know exactly. I'm trying to stray a little bit from all the gameplay and shit of Assassin's Creed Origins so it doesn't kill my experience on day one. But I was really excited for Shadow of War when they announced it. I was going to pick it up. Uh, I don't want to pick it up right now, especially like I honestly I do see myself picking it up in the future. After I've played a lot of Assassin's Creed Origins and Call of Duty World War II, because those are going to be my two most grindy games. Like I'm talking, I'll be playing them in the years and years to come. To to be honest, if, if especially if World War II holds up. Um, but of course, we will all take breaks eventually. But I could see myself picking up Shadow of War. You know, honestly, sometimes in February or March of next year honestly that's a but that's a decent enough gap for me to be like I'm ready to play something a little bit different um, obviously Far Cry 5 and other games are coming out um, but I'll get into that kinda close to the end of the video but it's just a practice I'm not gonna give Shadow of War a piece of my money outside of the sixty dollar price tag there that they're already putting on the game and what makes this so sad is the gameplay that you're seeing in Shadow of Mordor is basically pretty similar to what you're gonna get in Shadow of War Shadow of War has way more content, way more places to explore. The Nemesis system has been improved, and it's a way better game. Now, I don't want to be—I don't want to get yelled at for saying that it's the exact same thing because it's not. Um, but the practice is what makes it so sad to me. This game didn't deal with that microtransaction shit, and this game became one of the best games. This is the Game of the Year edition, and it deserved it because it was an amazing game. But. The fact that they went from such a great game to bringing in these microtransactions and shit, that just, that hurts the game in a lot of ways. And it even kept me from buying it day one. Like, it actually, and I get a lot of people are going to be like, you don't have to buy the microtransaction. You can grind it. If you like to grind it, do it. Now, I'm not going to lie. There's two reasons I didn't. It's because the microtransactions pissed me off a lot, and I wanted to, honestly, I don't usually wait for reviews. I like to get my own review out, but I did for this time, this one time, because... First off, I was going to buy it back when it was supposed to come out, but they delayed it. But then, once they gave it a release date near Assassin's Creed Origins, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to... I don't want to add another game to my grind fest list right now. I just... No. Y'all don't know, understand how many hours I'll be putting into Assassin's Creed Origins. So. so, I just wanted to go over a quick little video and let you guys know that more videos are going to be coming out. And I just wanted to kind of give my opinion on this microtransaction thing. Um... It shouldn't be happening to single player games. Single player games don't deserve that. Single player games is the Kickstarter for all video games. And whether you love or hate them, them being filled with microtransactions is unacceptable. Fuck you, WB Games, honestly. Or whoever started this shit and thought it was a good idea. Fuck your greedy asses. That shit is stupid. And it's just, it's unacceptable. I, you, I mean, you lost money for me because I probably would have considered a high edition of the game so I could get all the content. But now you've taken that away, and I'm probably not even, I might not even get the base game now. And I get, you'll get more money in the future, but just fuck you guys for that kind of practice. Because now a lot of other companies are probably going to lean off of it. Thank God Ubisoft on Assassin's Creed Origins, as far as I know, they're not leaning like that. That shit is bullshit, and it, it's not how it should work. Um, in other news, 
Um, I want you guys to know, once again, Assassin's Creed Origins and Call of Duty World War II are my two big games that are coming out in the next few weeks, and I'll be playing those the most. So if content is on the channel, it might be of those games. I will bring out some other gameplay videos if y'all don't want to see just those two, but they are mainly what I'll be covering. I'll definitely be covering Assassin's Creed Origins. I definitely see my channel supporting the Assassin's Creed games over Call of Duty, and I'm okay with that, but I will admit I'm going to be giving out some Call of Duty World War II gameplay. Next year, Far Cry 5 is probably going to be something I get. Um, the next Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man game that's coming out, whenever it does come out, I'll be playing that, of course. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, and eventually, I think in 2019, we're going to get The Last of Us Part 2. Those are the games, I know I know there's going to be more games that get announced that I'll end up you know, being like, oh shit, now i got to get that too. But those are the games that I know for a fact are coming out that I will be getting and you guys can expect eventually. Shadow of War is still a very high possibility that I could end up getting it. But I, I want to actually, not a high possibility, I want to say it's a medium. Because I could end up giving all my, all my grinding time to Assassin's Creed versus this game. I hate to see such a great game like Shadow of Mordor get so much praise, which it deserves. But then its, it's sequel gets, gets shit on. It's a great game. I heard the story's a little lackluster. But the, the the way that they did the content is bullshit, in my opinion. If multiplayer games are already doing it, and you're doing it in single-player games, it pisses me off. Um, but thank you so much, guys, for watching. Like I said, if any more videos get delayed, I'm very sorry. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. YouTube's being a bitch, and they've demonetized three of my last fa <laughs> Assassin's Creed videos, and I'm assuming because of either there being a weapon in the thumbnail... Or it's saying Assassin's Creed. I don't fucking know. But they've demonetized my shit. They fucking hate me, I guess. Either way, I'm going to keep making this content. I'm going to keep doing what I love to do. Thank you for the support. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. And thank you so much for that. I'd love to hit that goal before the end of the year. Um, Assassin's Creed comes out very soon. And I definitely will be uploading gameplay as soon as it drops. And I'll be giving out my first impression. So th thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a like and a comment.